Weather here with another fire ass interview. You already know what it is. Y'all been waiting for this interview for a long time coming. Shout out Long Beard for the connection. But truthfully, against the grain, been fucking with the dirty nation. So we didn't need you. But shout out Long Beard. What up, Wack? What's with it, man? Man, what's up, Dirt, man? You already know, man. Wack Deuce from San Diego, man. And uh, just chilling, bro. You know what I mean? Another day, another half dollar, man. A uh, half a dollar. Hey, I remember I went live the other day, right? I was hella depressed at it because I had long, I I didn't have a blunt, right? So I started showing I started showing my coin collection, right? Because I got yeah. hella old ass coins, you see? Yeah. Ass coins. But in that coin collection was some half dollars. But my dollars got low, so I had to spend them half dollars. So it's mm. <laughs> it got it got critical. Man, I had man, I needed some blunts. Hey, that's like hey, look, hey, that's like being on lockdown, running out of rolling papers, and you hit the mill tax. Man, what's the, the, mil the, the mill tax originally the 415. Oh man, not the four. Mill tax though, you had to take the mill tax. I had I had strategy for that shit. But I take the jelly because the jelly packs from breakfast was hella thin and yep. I Meal text with that shit, and then hit it with a light toast. That's the, the a light toast with the flame, and, and that oh. motherfucker because it's little uh, little microfiber holes in the meal text, so it might not burn right unless you're rolling a cigarette or something. Yeah, well, hey, I, I, man, you know, hey, if if you didn't have that, you know, uh, John Jacob, I, uh, John three sixteen ain't yeah. never failed nobody. <laughs> Hey, I think every Bible you find in a penitentiary, you know, the first three or four pages that, that are blank, all them are gone. And every Bible you find. And the ones in the back. And the ones <laughs> in the back. You ain't hey, lying, bro. I was really going to the chapel just to get the little bitty Bibles, just to get the little rolling paper shit up out of Hey, or, or, to use, or to take out the page, the, all the pages and use that as your phone book and your wallet for your ID. And your privilege card and all that. I remember the hustle. The hustle man's used to be going to get them. You wonder why? Well, don't be no Bibles in the in the, in the chapel. That's because the hustle men's then got them all, and they making them things that you just said. Phone books, <laughs> like that. Man, hey, draw, hey, drawing all kinds of Louis Vuitton designs and and designs on them. Like, come on, bro, knock it off, man. They used to, make, they used to be making photo albums with that shit. On the real, hey, so, hey, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Hey, hey, a, a motherfucker want to see some MacGyver shit? All you got to do is go to prison, bro. Straight up, straight up. When I, I seen the mother, when I seen the motherfucker get a light on the yard with a staple and two batteries, I knew it was real. <laughs> hey, I'm putting the two I, lead I, in the sockets. Look, I wrote a book. Well, I didn't release it. I should have. Called 101 Ways to Make a Soup, right? Mm. The, the next volume was going to be 101 Ways, Things You Can Make with a Hot Pot. Then yeah. another volume was going to be 101 Prison Arts and Crafts because I figured there was things in prisons that we could do to save people's lives. For instance, oh, really? if you stranded in the wilderness and you cold and you ain't got no power, no nothing, no light or nothing, but you got this flashlight with these big ass D batteries, and you Man. may go back in your car and snatch out a wire and take that wire and touch them batteries and get your ass a light and start a fire. You feel me? I need to go in the book. <laughs> yeah, on, on the real. Hey, look. My last, so the last pen I was in was high, was high desert, right? Yeah. High karma, the White House. You know what I mean? I drunk. Uh, Man, they put us on property control because we sell extracted. All the uh, all the blacks. Hey, and, uh, explain to them what property control is. Man, they take everything about your cell except your mattress, a pair of boxers, a, a t-shirt, and a pair of socks. And <laughs> one so sheet. State issue. State issue. So <laughs> look, bro. Anybody that's been to high desert knows it's way in the mountains. In the wintertime, it snows. Man. Man, hey, look. There was snow 
up to the back window. So what is that? About four feet of snow, three feet of snow? At least. Because it goes as high as to the table. It start at the yeah, table. Start at the table, bro. Yeah. There was snow up to the back window at the table, bro. They put us on property control. I ain't never been so cold in my life, bro. Damn. Hey, I, hey, I was so cold. What I was doing was me and my celly, my homeboy Bear, we was taking turns pacing laps in the cell. Damn. And then we was taking that. You remember when they switched up the uh Jim Jones Kool-Aid to the white yeah. uh to the white pack with the uh the, the pack was kind of shiny? That's salt Peter. Man. Hey, bro. Let, let me tell him what Salt Peter is. <laughs> That's that shit that they, they had this Kool Aid they give us in prison. Allegedly, it's this stuff in it called saccharin, and it's supposed Man. to be cancer, but it's supposed to make your Peter stay soft and not get hard. Yeah. Salt Peter. Hey, look. Hey, man. I, what, I, what we were doing was we take our milk cartons, because, you know, we ain't got no cups now. They done took everything. We taking our milk cartons from the morning, putting that green, nasty ass Kool Aid in the in the milk carton, and, and drinking hot ass green Kool Aid to stay warm, bro. Damn. Hey, that shit ain't never tasted so good in my life, boy. Damn. You know what I mean? Hey, <laughs> and, hey, you know what was crazy about that dirt? Huh. Make a long story short, you know how we got our property control before we were supposed to. Y'all probably did a strike. No. Nope. Hey, we're about three days in, right? The building police, they come to do the cell feeding. And instead of putting our shit on paper trays, he fucked up and gave us the real trays. Ooh. And then when he realized he did that, he came to running all to, all to the doors. Hey, man, y'all going to give us some trays back, right? <laughs> um, I don't know, man. Y'all going to give us our property back? I'm going to see what I can do. Okay, then, then we'll see what's up. <laughs> hey, hey, they had no choice, homie. To, I know the sergeant and lieutenant and all them were mad in the motherfucker. Man. Y'all finna give us our property back, though. Ain't nothing like good old extortion of the police. Right? That, hey, look, because that time when I was in the hole with the homie Buff and that motherfucker left the lock unlocked, mm. he left the lock unlocked upside down. And you snatched it. I looked at that motherfucker. I took to my celly like, look, look. Mm. He was like, what you gonna do? I said, watch this. Bam! I hit the tray slot. <laughs> the lock fell straight there. Yep. Hey, I called. We sent. We sent word to the homies in Swahili upstairs. Yep. Send a line. Mimi and Story. Chapu, chapu. Like send your line in the yeah. And uh, shit. That we sent that motherfucking lock upstairs. So when the police came around to uh do the nighttime inspection. He was like, where's your lock? I was like, shit, I don't know. You the police. You tell oh, me. For real. You got the key to it, motherfucker. And he, he was like, come on, guys. I was like, look. He said, I said, man, I don't know what you're talking about. He's like, man, what you, what's it going to take? Hey, my celly went like this. <laughs> yeah. So, this, so I'm like, okay. So I see where we're going with this. So I tell the police, yeah, that's what we want. He said, yeah, I'll probably get you a cigarette or something. I was like, fuck that. We want a pack. Yeah. <laughs> you better give me, hey, hey, if not a pack, you better give me a pouch, motherfucker. Man, I said, and if you can't get it, you better give me somebody who can. <laughs> yeah, on the real. Man, yeah. hey, the sergeant, the sergeant with his, was this big ass white boy. He was cool as shit. He came to the door straight up, like, what's it going to take? I was like, man, we need a pack of Marlboros tomorrow. He was like, <laughs> got my word. I said, we got your word. He was like, you got my word, man. He left. He, I told, I told him come back in like ten minutes. He yeah. left, came back in ten minutes, and a lock was in front of the door. And yeah. that mother brought them, brought them Marlboros the next day. You feel me? Hey, they don't. Hey, they don't like that, bro. They do not like that, homie. Hell, nah. Especially when they fuck up, though. But there's some of them that'll be like, man, bro, I fucked up. I fucked up. I opened the door. Like the police that had us under escort in Solano, when them essays got on us, he, man, I ended up, I, I had a chance to meet him later on in life because I had went back to Solano. And then when I talked to him and I told him who I was, he damn near started crying. He was like, man, I am still traumatized to this day because that police had only, he had only been a CO for like two weeks. 
Mm. I'm still traumatized to this day from that. His name is like forget for leave for 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 Fuzali. 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 Yeah. Yeah, hey, trial by fire, homie. Hey, look, I'm in Tehachapi in the hole. Uh, they sent me out to the yard with the skinheads, bro. Ooh. And I wasn't going to say, nah, that ain't my yard. I can't do that, homie. I got to go. So, you know, and you already know, homie, once you get uncuffed, homie, you get uncuffed. Then you walk to the gate to go inside that door. Hey, I ain't going to lie, homie. My asshole was clenched like a motherfucker, boy. Hey. Man. Hey, as soon as that gate, you know what I mean, got cracking, homie, it got hit with the black gun. It, it's funny how I was the only motherfucker that got hit with the black gun that day. And I'm did, the victim. Did they let they didn't let no blacks out? Nope. Nope. Oh, hey, so you had a royal rumble in that boat. Yeah, hey. Well, now nah, it didn't last, it didn't last too long because I didn't get five feet in that motherfucker before it, you know what I mean? As soon as the as soon as, the, as soon as they buzzed the gate open and then I closed that motherfucker, it was on and cracking. Uh, they, they said the one they said what to hit you up. Man, hey. But then look, the CO broad that took me out there and the dude, I seen her like like a year later, she got moved uh, to Lancaster and she recognized me and she was apologizing to me and shit. And oh, we should have known better. And why didn't you say anything? I'm like, come on now. It's a lot of CO. It's a lot of COs that was new that made mistakes and they hadn't developed into the CO that they was gonna become, and they looking for a chance to make right some of the wrongs they made early on, and that's uh, the truth. That's that's that right there. Because when he, when dude see me, he apologized straight up. Yeah, hey, I should have hit her up, homie, for like, hey, can you uh, you know what I mean? Can you do the damn thing? Yeah, I need about ten phones. You yeah, on the real. Hey, but then you know what? Hey, 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 Dirt. Look, I paroled in 04 and I went back in 05 on a violation and got out in 06. So the phones weren't really cracking like that back then. Oh man. You hey look. So the first time I the first time I got action at the phone, you already know that story. I fucked that off in Solano. <laughs> but then once I hit once I hit Folsom, man. I was phone crazy. I, I, that was my addiction. First violence was my addiction. Then it yeah. turned to phone. Having a phone, I was addicted to connecting to the free world. That's crazy. See, how, hey, hey, how much was they going for when they first came out? I got my first phone for like 500. That was a little straight bar AT&T's. Then if you wanted a flip phone, like the flip, that was like seven. But then when the when the I had one of the first droids, it was I didn't buy it. It was my cousin's, but he had me holding it, and that's how I ended up getting sent to Calipat because I got caught with my phone and mm. his. But the but the smartphones, oh, you was you was go you was looking at twelve hundred, fifteen hundred or better. Yeah, that man, that's crazy. But see, I was in prison for the transition from uh three G to smartphone. Or actually, actually, regular phone to three G, which was the beginning of smartphones. Which was the beginning of when you could start uh, going on the internet and all that. The first iPhone I seen was like it was the iPhone one, and that was like two thousand ten. Yeah, because I think the first iPhone on the streets came out. I want to say like two thousand seven. I think. Yeah, see, we had some, we had some motherfuckers in. Uh, and old Folsom that was getting shit mailed straight, getting razor phones and shit mailed straight through the package. Mm. That was back in the days. So, hey. As a matter of fact, look, the razor was the first phone I had on the streets when I paroled. That's the first Motorola razor. The battery on that motherfucker sucked. I mean, that motherfucker would die every two hours. <laughs> Remember, my father used to come on, mother used to say, no, 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 no. The, ra the razor said something else. Razor, but the other one said draw. I had the smartphone that said draw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, and didn't know how to use that motherfucker. Man, hey. I, barely, I was in that motherfucker trying to watch hella porn and couldn't get it to play. 
Hey, you know it's a trip about Lancaster, right? Uh -huh. If the power go out in Lancaster, the porno when the power come back on, the porno channel come on. Hold on, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you, so you know I'm a timer. So what happens is when the power goes off in Lancaster, when it's when the power when it comes back on, you guys get porn, but the porn be from like France or Canada or some shit like that. But it'd be like all it'd be like straight up porn until they fix the stat the uh the, the satellites. You ain't lying, bro. You ain't lying. I had about three. I had about three, four people tell me about that. Man, hey, and it, hey, it was it was the screen was wavy, but I, hey, man, you still seeing it go down though. You seeing everything you need to see. Hey, what about the Spanish channels though? Oh, come on, homie. Hey, Caliente, baby, on Saturdays. Man, look. That was the murder show. You ain't got no celly. That was a murder show, and we knew exactly which bitches to look at. <laughs> yeah, hey, what about old boy though? But look, I used to, I used to stalk that motherfucker. That the channel. Family. Look, the uh, family. hey, what's old, old El Gordo though and E Flaca? That boy in the morning. Yeah, and then hey, and then your boy on Saturday night. What's his name? Uh, oh, what, what uh, what uh, <laughs> um. <coughs> the host. Yes. <coughs> Don Fernandez or something or something like that. He had a girl named Louise Elena. She was so bad. Man. Hey, this is some good ass weed. I tell you that. I can tell, boy. You got your left your left your left lung about to come out your mouth. Man, I'm about to put it down. I got work in about 50 left minutes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so hey, what you what you wearing? 7 Eleven? Man, 7 Eleven. I know you be seeing, I, I know you be seeing shit up in there, huh? I do. But lately, it's been people seeing me. Like they come in at 7 Eleven, they be like, like, you know, sometimes you might get action at being like, uh, nah, that's not me. You might got action at that. But when they see my big ass, they be like, oh, yeah, I fuck with you, bro. I, I, one dude came in. He was like, he seen Dusty parked out front. He was like, yeah, I seen that car. That's how I knew that was you from the car. But <laughs> every every day, somebody come in and recognize me. That's right, bro. Hey, the only way is up from here, homie. You know what I mean? Man, you been part of the struggle, man. When the first time you uh caught a dirty weather video? Shit, uh. So let me tell you, let me let me tell you how it all started. So I broke my back, I broke three vertebrae in my back, right? And so I was uh driving trucks. That's what I normally do. I drive over the road and shit. Yeah. And I, I slipped and fucked my shit up, bro. And uh I was on bed rest, homie, for damn near a year. So you can only watch so much TV and play so much Call of Duty, right? Yeah. So I, on, I used to just go on YouTube to just watch music videos and shit. But then one day I came across uh one of the, one of them uh somebody one of them channels about prison and then yours it popped up and I clicked on it and seen yours and uh I was like, "Okay, why and you were talking about uh I think that was the time you were talking about you had just got out. Your first day out." Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's yeah. how I seen it, man. And then I went, so I started watching yours, and then I seen a couple of other dudes' channels, and then I started, uh, then I started watching the homie Mitch from San Diego, Hard Intentions. And uh, after that, about, it was a wrap, bro. You know what I mean? Talking about Missy Slick or Mitch? Nah, Mitch from Hard Intentions, the OG uh, from Dago. He did thirty eight years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, man, hey, I, hey, look, the crazy thing about that is. He went to jail in, I think, April of 79. I was born in January of 79. I'm like, damn. Shit, you older than me. Oh, how old is you? I'm the same age as you, but you older than me. Oh, mm -hmm. wait, no. Well, yeah, you older than me by about like by eight months. Oh, okay. We both 79, babies. 79, you know what I mean? That's how, watch, what, what year did you go to prison? 97. Okay, I got locked up in 97, but I didn't hit the pen until 98. But I was 17. 
So I got kicked out of I got kicked out of juvenile camp on my 18th birthday. Four and a half months later, I was facing like 40 some years in, in the pen. And I hit Donovan reception at I was like in October of 97 and got my K number. A K yeah. six number. Yeah. Hey, guess so guess what that's the number I got. You got a P number. Yep. <laughs> you, you got like a P0 or a P1? That nigga know his shit. I got a P0. <laughs> hey, but, hey, 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 Dirt. Hey, uh, you know what? Hey, the number, hey, from P, what a P, and then T. The P and the T's went hella fast, homie. And the V's. It went T, V, M, P, R, C, V, W, X, Y, Z. It was no X, Y, Z. No. So then it, to, then it went to A, A. See, I think I had paroled by then, but I know for a fact that the P's and the T's, and I, yeah, I did remember seeing some V's. Them motherfuckers went hella fast, homie. Them is all OG numbers. All the ones where you got just a single P in front of your shit, them is all OG numbers. Because when I went back in 2018, I had a, I had like a A, B number. A, B is A. I had two letters and then like three numbers. Oh, so uh, you went back on a new beef? I went back on a new beef. Oh, hell to the no. Remember, I my, hey, I gave my K number back in 08, homie, and I ain't looked back. Remember the fireworks? That's when I went back. The story with the fireworks with the yeah, white okay, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's when I went back. I had been out. I, I, I was like three weeks to getting off parole. I still got They still let me off parole. But I got off parole while I was in the county. And what'd you get? How what'd you get? Like 16 months or half? Well, the first uh, the deal that they gave me was was uh 32 months with half, right? Yeah. But remember, I went on the run, so I fucked that deal off. So <laughs> when I came when I came back, I ended up with the same, I ended up with a better deal after I came back from going on the run. Yeah. And that was 16 doubled up. <laughs> so 32 months. But I ended up doing like 22. Oh, okay. And how hey, how much did your points drop? Man, when I went back, shit, I was a level two. But the thing is, I was in Old Folsom, and Old Folsom is like a level two, three. So really, I didn't get the benefits of being like in a level two prison that's wide open. Even yeah. though I had a cool little job, I worked PIA and all that shit. But some some level twos is Gucci. Yeah, hey, and hey, hey, bro. But see, all the stories I done heard about, and, and you know, especially with my situation, homie, being, you know, what I mean, being a white boy crip. All the stories I done heard about the lower levels. I'm, I was cool. Like I'm, I'm cool. I, I paroled with 262 points, so yes. I didn't have to worry about it. So when I went back on my violation. They uh I did my whole 10 month violation and add Shaggy Donovan. Damn. But see, it was it, but see, you came, they like some people don't understand how hard it was to come in and be a white crip in the 90s. In yeah, the it 90s. was cracking, man. But the green light, the green light on white gang members, that wasn't until like the late 90s, though, right? Well, now nah, hey, look, so when I when I hit the when I hit Donovan in October of 97. Uh, the NLRs was still run. The NLRs was still running around, and yeah. they was, they was kind of like the main the main hitters for the big boys up north. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's who I was getting into it with. And then they got slammed. They got validated. What uh, ninety nine and the ninety eight, something like that. Uh, I think like ninety nine, bro. They got validated. So they took all them off the yard and they got sent to the shoe with indeterminates. And then that's when you started seeing a gang of the just regular skinheads. But it, hey, hey, bro, I tell a motherfucker like this, man. I ain't trying to toot my own horn or nothing like that, man. I, I done been, I didn't have my ass sir handed to me a, a bunch of times, bro. You know what I mean? I'm not the hardest motherfucker by, by far. It was just, you know, my thing uh, that I try to tell people is, you 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 got to be yourself. You know what I mean? If if that's really 
what you about, then you're going to stand up for what you about, homie. I mean, my thing was, and I've talked to Mitch about me and him have talked about this a gang of time. Me and Mitch probably talk like every day on the phone and uh, people find it weird. Like, man, how, how you so cool with a, a wood and you a white crib? I'm like, man, first of all, I'm 41. He's like 59. Yeah, yeah. my mother's just grown now. You know what I mean? And second of all, it's like, I don't have nothing. I, I, if I went to the pen, homie, even if I wasn't from where I'm from, I couldn't go to the I couldn't go to the pen and hang out with the woods because I don't have nothing in common with them dudes, bro. I don't. I didn't skateboard. I didn't surf. I didn't. You know, I grew up around minorities my whole life, bro. You know what I mean? Whether hey, it was, you are who you are, and it would have it would have stood out. How you gonna be fake it with with something that that it wouldn't it wouldn't have worked? You'd have been listening to some black music. You'd have yeah. been having too many black pictures in your photo album. Your yeah. conversations wouldn't have matched up with theirs. And eventually, it'd have been problems. Yeah. So, <laughs> hey, 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 Dirty, it's funny you say that, right? Man, I, I was telling a dude the other day, I said, man, you don't know how many times, whether I was working in the kitchen or or behind the wall at, like, office services or something, going to school behind the wall, and uh, a white dude be back there, and he be like, man, whack. All I fuck with on the streets is brothers or, you know, all I listen to is rap, man. I wish I could. I was like, Look, hey, homie, I mean, you a man, right? Do yeah. what you do, you know what I mean? But I ain't from nowhere. Okay, well, I mean, I don't know what to tell you then, Jack. Man, I used to have Southsiders coming, is coming to us. Uh, I used to have kites come on the door. Hey. I listen to your brother Lynch. <laughs> <laughs> Can I listen to your brother Lynch? <laughs> Can I listen to your brother Lynch, man. Man, hey, man, brother. Hey, man, that's one thing about Sack, homie. Y'all done, uh, y'all done produce some, some motherfucking hitters, man, in that music industry. And then, you know, what's kind of funny is, is, is just how, how much Sacramento. And Dago is alike, the 619-916 connection, whether it be with the with the with the gang shit to yeah. the music shit. Yeah. You know what I mean, hey, what I one thing that I that I learned, and it was a little different from Skyline to Lincoln, but in Skylines, and if you if you go to any of their sales and say, let me see your CD collection, one thing you are going to see in a Skyline niggas. If, CD collection is Mac Dre. <laughs> hey, you for real. Hey, you ain't lying, bro. You gonna see Mac Dre, and you gonna see some, and then Lincoln and Lincoln niggas. Uh, 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 then you gonna see some reggae. Well, hey, Skyline too, because they got the dude too. They got the little Africa, mouth, little, eat them out. Because little Africa. Yeah, little yeah, little Africa pop. Hey, I got a hey, there's a man. Hey, bro, I met a I met a couple. And little Africa small, they they hood is like my hood, where they small. See, I'm not from southeast, bro. I, I, we from uh the north side of Dago. We we ain't from Oceanside way up there, but we we call ourselves from the north side of Dago, Linda Vista. We up there by uh the stadium and all that. So yeah, we're not yeah. southeast. Oh, yeah. you know what I mean, oh ooh, man, look, then you already know the bus, the stadium right by the freeway, right? Uh, there's two stadiums. There's there's what shit. No, you got the eight. You got the fifteen. You got the one sixty. There's like three or four freeways by the uh, stadium. What's the one like if you heading toward the border? Uh, that could be the eight oh five. That could be the fifteen or or the five. Okay, so I'm gonna tell. I can. So we was on the freeway. The stadium was on the right hand side, and we was going toward Donovan. And we was coming from like the Calipat area. We came from LA. Oh, that's uh, you were on the 15, and then what you were gonna do is the 15 goes through like the coast, right? And the hood and, then, and the brims, and, then, and it turns into the five. And then we banked the left. So then that's the five where we banked the left, and then we turned into Donovan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that was off the uh, what is that shit called? The uh, 905 freeway. The five to the 905. So what I would say is that. From that view right there, around heading to Donovan, man, San Diego is a beautiful place. It still be, it still gets me that them be two, three story houses, million dollar houses, and it be gang members in them things. Well, look, hey, you ain't, hey, look, so you ain't lying, right? So look, 
So in Dago, and I'm not saying this to be disrespectful, you know what I mean? I'm 41 years old, homie. I, you know what I mean? I'm beyond all that. But yeah. uh, what 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 we've always said is the skyline, the skyline cats. You go to skyline, bro. You see big old two story, three story houses. Yeah. But if you go to the coast, the coast is 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 is, is the low bottoms for real, bro. That, that's you know what I mean. Uh, Lincoln is kind of uh, Lincoln's kind of ghetto. The hood is kind of ghetto. Uh, Linda Vista's. I mean, like. Linda Vista, a lot of people don't know this, where I'm from was the first low-income housing in San Diego. And them is top probably two-story, three-story houses. There's some two-story, three-story houses in Linda Vista, but there's also projects in Linda Vista too, though. Uh, so with Linda Vista, that's the area I can see from the freeway, ain't it? Uh, it's at the top of the hill. We was heading, when we was leaving Donovan, going toward, uh, we, where was we heading? We was heading like toward Arizona because I know we passed a couple of casinos, so we was heading up the hill. Nah, that see that's going east. We we north of there. So okay, you remember where you was at when you when you was passing the freeway on your uh, the stadium was on your right hand side. Yeah, you would have to continue to go right all the way, probably about five more miles, and then go up the hill, and that's where we was at. Oh man! Well, San Diego was a place that I do want to revisit. Cause the only the only part the only time I was in Dago was on a prison bus. Yeah, on the real. Hey, you know what's a trip though? Is look in Dago, you can be within an hour of wherever you at in Dago. You can be at, at either the beach, the desert, or the mountains within an hour wherever you at in San Diego. That's why San Ber that's why San Bernardino and uh, uh San Diego is connected. Yeah, San Bernardino about a, like an hour and a half to yeah, about an hour and a half away. A lot of people from San Diego knew a lot of people from San Bernardino. San Bernardino, Riverside. Cause you go through Riverside before you get to uh San Bernardino on the 15 freeway. Yep. All yep. right. Hey, hey, well check this, check this out, man. We got to get together and do this again because, you know, I got to go clock in at work in a minute. Yeah, we, hey, for sure, man. Yeah, man. So this is the first, this is the first of many, man. The whack deuce and dirty weather connection, man. It, it was been, it been, it been time, man. It been time. We've been procrastinating, living, living our lives and things, but we going to get together next week, man. What's the, so how do, what's the link to your channel? What's the, what's, what's the name of your channel? Uh, whack deuce against the grain. W-A-C-C. Space D U C E against the grain. All right, whack deuce against the grain and dirty weather 916. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed, hit that like button and hit that hit that share button as well. Dirty weather. Go.